And welcome back gamers to Friday the 13th of game. We're going over the virtual cabin. This is version 1.1, step up from the beta. And real quick, let me go over everything that you're gonna get in this one. Uh, we are actually doing this because next Friday, November 13th, the dedicated servers are gonna be shutting down. So we will not actually be able to play dedicated servers, although this game will still be around. I'll discuss this more in detail as we go. But as I said, this is version 1.1. <clears throat> your, <clears throat> your controls have now been updated along with the map. The telephone now works and you can also add items to your inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit the computer and then we're going to turn around and we're going to walk up and see the small diorama set. Now things aren't quite right so what we need to do is we need to pick up all the characters. Next, we're going to walk down the hallway here. And earlier, this room is now open. We can see this. I'm not going to walk in here quite yet, though, because the next thing we need is to go right in here. I right, see so you still haven't made it into the shower yet. Okay. So we're going to go right over here. We're going to pick up this figurine. And we're going to come back. Now we're going to go over into the red room. I'm calling this the red room because of that door right there come this way oh, oh there he is I knew the snake was in here somewhere so in the script for the original movie it is the prowler who puts the snake into the cabin in the scene where the snake is beheaded no special effects were used out of all the kills filmed in the series the snake is the only one who really died <laughs> A little interesting tidbit there. We're going to have this all throughout the virtual cabin. All these little uh, little side notes of information. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab these figurines over here too. And before we actually start putting these things back together. I want to go ahead and take a little look. Walkie talkie. Sweet. Well uh, now you know the virtual cabin goes a little deeper than we let on. There are quite a few puzzles, well, more like secrets left to discover. We hid some content in this cabin that will not be easy to unlock. You'll really have to think outside the box. It's so like a puzzle game. Think of this less like a puzzle game designed to get through in like an afternoon, and more like an experience for our community to get to know the movies better, or for the hardcore fans to test their knowledge. That uh, might be too much to say, but we can always cut that out later, right? Mm-hmm. And um. How will players know when they've uncovered all the secrets? Um, it should be pretty obvious. Alright, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start putting some other things together. Oh, there's a little interactive item here. I am not going to read that as the writing is too small, but I am going to leave it on the screen so you can read it. What's that being done? We're going to get over on the other side of the room here momentarily. But first, let's go ahead and put this diorama together the way it should be. If you can notice, this is a likeness of Friday the 13th Part 3, I believe. So we should be putting the Friday the 13th Part 3 characters here in their respective places. So how we're going to do this is like this. <clears throat> this hold on one second <clears throat> all right here we go so we need right here if it'll let me light it up there it is Look. we need Allie we need Jason that's holding the machete and we need Chris. Okay, that's part of the puzzle that we're going to be completing now in the other room. Real quick, let's look at some of this stuff. 
there was very little time to waste on conventional things like character and plot. The next big decision was the setting and the answer was... Remember the movie Paramount had an advertising campaign with Jason slashing through the iconic I Love New York logo. It was later abandoned when the New York City Tourism Committee filed a complaint. Oh, I gotta fix my internet quality. Hang in there, guys. Stupid internet quality. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully that should be improving here momentarily. I was hoping, and it looks like it is. Okay, moving along. With a budget of just over 500000 Sean Cunningham had little budget for expensive lighting rigs, resulting in very dark night shots, making the best of the situation. Cunningham chose props and costumes that had bright colors. Even the doors were painted bright red. The part of Deputy Winslow was played by Jack Marks. The deputy drives through the forest before stumbling upon Jason's shack. Unfortunately, the actor Jack Marks never learned to drive. On set, he was giving a few driving lessons, but Marks found his movement behind the wheel the scariest of the entire film shot. <laughs> you can also find all these tidbits of information in the... Um, <clears throat> book Crystal Lake Memories. It's also a documentary I think to even talk about there. Another Jason mask which we will be touching on here very shortly. And one more piece of information I think and maybe that sign over there. All right. One of the most popular kills in the series can be found in Friday 13 part 2. It involves the lovable wheelchair bound <coughs> jock Mark. Confirmed to the, confined to the wheelchair by a motorcycle accident, Mark remind, remains optimistic that he might walk again. Mark took a machete to the face, causing him to roll backwards down a long flight of stairs. It is a classic kill of the series, made even more notable in that it is the first time Jason killed someone with his signature machete. And if this sign... Character traits. One lesson developers on Friday the 13th the game learned is that sometimes the absence of trait can be more interesting in a PAX panel. Friday F13 game consultants Adam Cesiar unpacked it this way. If you think about a slasher film, you don't have seven smart, talented, athletic counselors that are up against Jason. They are all maybe have a benefit here and there. Well, on the whole, they're kind of they kind of suck, and that's the part of the fun of the movie. One thing I've learned in the course of playing the game is when things go wrong, it actually is more fun. All right, now let's go back out here and fix the rest of this diorama, and unlock the next part of the puzzle. <clears throat> Now here we're going to start back again, left to right, and we need to put here Jessica, Jason, and Steve. When we get this, it's our first patch we get to unlock here, this is going to go back here, go down the hallway. And it's going to go up here on this board. Alright, so what's next? Next we start getting into the whole mask thing. Alright, so first mask is over here. Well, actually, we're going to go and see why we're going after the masks. See Jason's masks right here? We need to find more to put up here. So the first one's going to be back here. Uh, 
<clears throat> All right. The film marks the first of four times that Kane Hodder replayed a role of Jason Voorhees, a series record. Hodder's portrayal was met with wide acclaim, but it was not without cost. The veteran stuntman took a lot of abuse. He fell through a set of stairs. He had an actual roof collapse on top of him and was set on fire for what was then a Hollywood record. So we're going to take this mask. <clears throat> All right, so next one we have to go down here. <clears throat> For this movie, the special effect team led by Greg. Nikotero went for a mutated diseased look for Jason. The theory was that the hockey mask had been on Jason for so long the skin had grown around it. The difficulty was that Kane Hodder couldn't take the mask off between takes. Hodder had to do the entire shoot and all the stunts by breathing his own exhaled air. Ugh. Oh, okay, so we got that. Last mask we need is going to be over here in that room, if you remember, I made note of it. Let's read. During pre-production of Friday the 13th Part 3, director Steve Miller called for a makeup test on Jason to get an idea of what he would look like this time. Instead of applying the rigorous makeup to the actor just for the test, they tried out a Detroit Red Wings hockey mask from 3D effects supervisor Martin J. Sadoff's bag of hockey gear and liked what they saw, then created a new mask. Oh, interesting tidbit you find in this little thing. Like they said, it is actually like a little museum. Okay, so back to up here to stairs to put these masks where they belong. All right. All right. Now, how are we going to do this? <clears throat> They're wanting us to take the rest of these down. I'm going to let you guys read these. Next one to come down is you. Next one to come down is you. And you. Now we should have seven masks in our inventory entirely. And that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we do. Okay. So next thing what we're going to do is we're going to put the masks back on the hook in the order that they appear in the movies. Any self-respecting Friday the 13th fan should be able to do this with ease. So here's how the order is actually going to go. Wrong mask. Hmm. 
think this one actually is going to go. Okay, yeah, hold on. Okay, so basically, this is how it shows in this diagram that I'm looking at. One of these doesn't belong. That's going to be this one. Okay, so next. I think I got a few in the wrong place here. Yeah, I do. This one's wrong. It should be this one. There. That would put this one here. All right, so you just heard that this drawer opens up, you get another patch. Back down to the kitchen. And right here it goes. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Now we're going to pick up some more random objects here. Since we're downstairs, we are going to start with the bathroom here. We're going to pick this up. We're going to pick this up. Back to the red room door. We're going to pick that up. it again Woo Nice one Tommy <laughs> All right So we got all that so far <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, sorry guys. Um, so now the place start placing the items here. Um, the first one is the blue cap. It's going to go right here. Place the bandana here. All right. Back upstairs. And the final one. Uh, we'll explore this entire room here in uh, one of the other videos. I don't hear the police badge is going to go. Alright, pick that up. And we're going to go ahead and take this all the way back down to the kitchen. One more to grab. All right. Alright, let's go ahead here and get the last patch. Sorry. I'm going to have to cut out those short um, speech parts here in a moment. Now, there's other hidden like phone numbers and stuff around here, as you can see, like right here. On here, and then on the back of like pages and shit, there's other hidden phone numbers. But the number that you're going to want to dial just so we can get our last patch is going to be this. One. Five. Five, five, three, four, two, <laughs> nine, two, seven, seven. So now we got access to the final. I had that there. And we get this opened. Let's go ahead and go in here. Keep this door clean. And again, we will look at all this extra stuff later. And this brings you to this little museum of the different Jasons. This one's covered up for now. And so is the one on the end. They each have little descriptions. We'll go over all this in the final video called Extras. Tom Savini's Jason. Alright, and now we'll just hear a quick word 
from the walkie-talkie, and then we'll answer that phone. Congratulations on completing the virtual cabin. In the future, we might update the space to reveal what's behind those two curtains. But for now, we just want to say thank you for playing and invite you to stay as long as you would like. All right. Now, let's go ahead, walk over to that phone, and we're going to cut the video right before we answer the phone because that'll speed the start of the next part of the video. So, all right, gamers, come right back because we're going to take a short break and throw this video in edits, and then we're going to film the next one while that's doing its thing. I shall return. Shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 What?